MK1 Bruce Lafon. We honor our fallen shipmates today with this ceremony. We honor them with Blackthorn Memorial Park. And while we are here to pay tribute to those who perished aboard Blackthorn on that fateful day 42 years ago, we are also here to honor their families. When I was, I was nine years old, it was a, a typical day getting ready for school. My family got a phone call from a neighbor that said, hey, are you watching the morning news? S.A. George Ravallis Jr. My brother's name is George Ronald Ravallis Jr. He was, uh, he was a lot of fun, but he was also, you know, that 17-year-old young boy that was uh, typical 17-year-old. He was, he was a little rough and tumble at the time. He, he had just come out of boot camp. This was his first assignment out of boot camp. Every member of the Coast Guard knows of the Blackthorn tragedy. It was a tragedy that reshaped our afloat training programs. It was a tragedy that serves as a stark reminder of the dangerous work that our men and women do each and every day. Well, I've been coming here for 42 years. I've, I've never missed a year. Ready. It doesn't get easier, Fire. but um, knowing that this group, this family comes together, it sustained me to, to keep coming. For the Blackthorn families, I pray that God continues to give you peace and comfort. We cherish and honor the spirit, sacrifice, and service of the Blackthorn crew. Their commitment and dedication we will never forget.